Let's practice, uh, let's practice using uh, if let and while let together. So this will use if let, it will use uh, while let, it will also use them with option and result at the same time. So we can look at, uh, at all four of these. Um, and so let's, uh, let's imagine that we have, uh, we have some data coming in with, uh, with weather information. So we have, uh, let's say, Let's say that we get the data and it looks like this. We'll call it uh, weather vec. And uh, it's got a whole bunch of uh, other vecs inside it. So let's put uh, two of them there. And uh, this one says Berlin. Uh, it says uh, cloudy. Then it says uh, five and then minus seven and then uh, 78. So you can see there's a, these are all strings. And one is the city name. Then we have uh, some uh, information, and then we have some other strings, and these uh, these will probably need to be turned into numbers. And then we have uh, the next city is uh, we've got Athens, we've got sunny, we've got uh, not humid, and then we have uh, twenty, and then we have ten, and then we have fifty. And you can see that this uh, so they both start with uh, the city name here. And then, uh, but then after that, they, well, they end with numbers, but then in the middle there's, um, you know, here's one piece of information and this one has two pieces of information. So we can't just say like whether vec, um, you know, two equals blah, 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 because, uh, you know, item number two over here, it's a number and over here it's a, it's a string. So we, uh, we need a little bit more logic for this. So what we will do, we are going to, uh, so we're going to look at every every city here, which is a, uh, which is a vec, and uh, we're going to say for the city of something, something, and here, the first name is, or the first uh, index will always be a, the city name, so we're okay with uh, with writing, uh, you know, city and then zero. And now we start to use while let. So some information we're going to call it information equals city dot pop, and pop is a method that takes the last part of a vec and it uh, it returns it as an option. So if you have just a uh, an empty vec, then uh, it'll return a none. And if you have a vec that says like eight, then it'll return you a sum eight. So, uh, we're, so we're going to start from back here. I'm going to say uh, some information equals city dot pop. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to uh, turn it into a uh, into an integer. So then we will do an if let, and this time. We're going to parse it, and uh, we saw parse before. Uh, so we want uh, information dot uh, parse, and you remember we uh, we have the turbo fish here. So we want to try to parse it into an i thirty two, and then uh, then we're going to print the number, and then we'll say the number is something, and there's the number. And there we go. So then we can uh, we can run that. And there you go. So uh, we've just started to uh, to work with our data, and we say uh, for the city of Berlin. So it starts here because that's index zero, and then it says the uh, the number is seventy eight. The number is minus seven. The number is five, and uh, same for Athens. It uh, brings in the numbers, and. Uh, and it's not going to uh, do the same here because uh, you know information parse i32 this will not work so it will not return an okay it will return an error but uh, we don't care about the error because we just want to bring in these numbers and so that's like the uh, the start of our uh, you know working with this data and uh, you know maybe later on we would come up with some uh, some ideas to bring this in but uh, 
in the meantime this gives us the name and it gives us all the numbers that we need because the numbers are, are here at the end